Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In this session we will discuss about your INSEM exam formats, how to set preparation time for exam, how to prepare for any exam, either it is NSEM or INSEM and how to write answers in exam paper for scoring good marks. These all things we will discuss in the session. Please like and share these videos with your friends that will be helpful for everyone and also subscribe the channel. So let's start the session. The first thing is about your INSEM exam. Your syllabus pattern is 2019 course pattern that is latest one. For INSEM exam, you need to prepare first two units that is unit one and unit two. Total marks 30. Each unit carry 15 marks approximately. Okay, means unit one for 15 marks, unit two for 15 marks. Your paper pattern is not yet disclosed by the university. But generally, see here. Generally, 5 marks questions will be there like question 1 for 5 marks, question 1 B for 5 marks and or question 2 A for 5 marks, question 2 B for 5 marks. You need to choose any one set from this particular questions. Now the next pattern is question number 1 A for 8 marks, question number 1 B for 7 marks. Similarly, question 2 A 8 marks, question 2 B for 7 marks and you need to choose any one set from this question. So generally, this type of pattern will be available. Every university having different in same exam format. Now next one is passing criteria. So there is no passing criteria for in same exam. Let's take some examples. See the first one is suppose you got in same exam 0 out of 30 marks but your in same exam got 40 out of 70 marks. So your total marks is 40 out of 100. So the passing criteria required here you need to require 40 percent marks out of 100 compulsory. Now next example is suppose in NCM exam you got 18 out of 30 marks and NCM exam 28 out of 70 marks right means your total score is 46 out of 100. So here passing criteria is required you necessary it is necessary you need to require 28 out of 70 means there is only two passing criteria 40 out of 100 and 28 out of 70 these two passing criteria is compulsory okay and now the next example is suppose in NCM exam you got 30 out of 30 marks and NCM exam 28 out of 70. So your total score is 58 out of 100. So here 28 out of 70 is necessary right means there is only two passing criteria. Next suppose you are fail in uh, you will be fail in NCM exam. So no need to give NCM exam repeatedly okay your NCM exam marks have already confirmed or freeze. So you need to just appear for next NCM exam only right next now next one is preparation time for in same exam so as per your syllabus uh, there are total total five subjects right so any subjects having total six units so let's focus on only in same exam purpose okay so when you prepare all the concepts in detail or by considering all the students means some students have average in their academics some students have good or best in their academics right so considering all the student you need to require maximum six hours for completing one unit okay but you prepare smartly at that time you need to require three to four, four hours completing the one unit okay so how to prepare smartly i will explain next now so by considering six hours for one unit so this is the actual timing for in same exam you have total two subjects means 12 hours okay means two units having 12 hours right so you have total five subjects five subjects each two units means you need to require total 60 hours for completing syllabus for in same exam right now the my suggestion is by considering all your college activities your uh, academic regular activities or other online courses so by considering all these things you need to make your own timetable as per your own schedule okay so maximum time consider that you need to require five subjects okay 10 units each so try to prepare one unit daily and always start the preparation before 10 days of exam or before one week of exam okay and at the day before exam you need to just focus on revision only so this is a preparation timing so always make your own timetable as per your own schedule and try to cover all the units according the exam next 
Now the next thing is how to prepare for exam. Okay, whether it is in same exam or end same exam. So how to prepare for that? Now the first thing is books. You can refer local author books. There was some local author books having available like uh, Tech Neo, Tech Knowledge. This kind of publications have there, right? And second thing is refer reference books that given in your syllabus. So you can take reference book from your library or online PDF also available. Okay. So I am suggesting you you can use both books that is local author books as well as refer reference books. Suppose you need to study in detail or you need to understand the concepts or you you are interested in to solve the more examples. So at that time you can refer reference books. Clear. Now next one is. Suppose you are not interested in to reading the books. So at that time you can use Google for searching a particular concepts as per your syllabus. Next thing is you can watch different YouTube videos or also you need to complete different online courses. Okay, these are options also available. So as per your syllabus point, first thing is you need to review the complete syllabus for the preparation. Okay, this is your first step. Review complete syllabus as per your exam. Second thing is you need to refer previous year question paper or important question bank given by the faculty. That is 2019 course is a latest pattern, right? So sometimes previous question paper have not available. So at that time just refer the question bank given by the faculty or refer previous pattern question paper, university question paper, whether it is 2015 or 2012 anything. Okay, because pattern is different, but subject is same. Right. So refer all those things. So by referring syllabus and question paper, you need to make a list of important points or in important concepts that mention in your syllabus or question paper. OK, now as per that important points, you need to read the book or watch videos. OK, so by completing all these four steps, the necessary point is to understand the concept. You need to understand the concept of each point that mention in your syllabus. OK, if your concept is clear, then it's very easy to write down your paper, the proper answers in proper format, right? So as per understanding the concept, you need to make notes in your own language. OK, this is your first thing. After understanding the concept, there are total three cases. First case is you need to uh, make a notes in your own language. Suppose you are not interested to write down the notes. Second thing is highlight the important words. OK, highlight the important points in book or uh, when you want to search on Google. So just copy paste the particular paragraph into the Microsoft Word and highlight those points. Right. So maintain all this preparation time, maintain all these notes. OK, so after that, suppose in the particular subject, uh, different diagrams have given. Right. So prepare diagrams must. I'm suggesting you, you should prepare diagrams only at that time. OK. Uh, prepare architectural diagram, structural diagram, components diagram or how diagram will be work, the flow of diagram. OK, so you must understand all those things. If you prepare diagram properly, then it's very easy to understand or easy to write down in paper in proper answering format. Right. Next thing is sometimes in particular subject, small algorithms or some uh, small programming examples have available. Right. So at that time, practice those algorithm and practice some small examples as per questions mentioned in previous question paper. OK, so prepare those examples only. So you need to follow those steps for preparing in your exam purpose. OK, next. Now, next thing is most important how to write answers in exam paper for scoring the good marks. So for that purpose, the first and important thing is you need to read given instructions and questions accurately. This is your first step. Second step, you need to check how many marks are available. Sometimes five marks question, sometimes six, seven or eight marks questions having there, right? So check how many marks are available. And as per that, you need to plan the timing means how much time required for answering those questions, right? Next thing is in your exams, options will be there, right? So always choose easiest question first or that you feel confidence about the particular question or that you sure about a particular question. So you can choose those questions first. OK, no need to write questions in your answer sheet. You can directly start uh, start the answers in your answer sheet. OK, next thing is always write what is asked in question in the question. 
they uh, will ask about explain or uh, elaborate or uh, draw the diagram with examples so always write down those things in your answer only okay not what you know about it clear next thing is you need to start the write the answers in your own language always write the answers in your own language it is not necessary to use any book language or any other language always write down the answers in your own language as per your understanding okay so write the answers in particular organized format how see here you need to mention heading then subheadings suppose as per your question always give the heading that is definition explanation types advantages and disadvantages program applications examples so always gives this type of heading in your exam in your answer sheet right next thing is don't write any bulky paragraph always use bullets or numberings like 1 2 3 4 this kind of numbering methods to write down the answers next and important thing is to underline important points or words in your answer see the reviewer or whoever the persons uh, who will check your paper they will not interested to uh, read the complete answers okay uh, they will always focus on important points or words that mention in your answers okay so always underline important points or words in your answer don't forget it next draw the diagrams gives names accordingly okay always draw first diagram uh, gives the diagram name that is diagram 1 figure 1 in this way and after drawing the diagram after that uh, explain those diagram point wise or heading wise right next thing is don't skip any question in your paper if you are not uh, if you are not interested or if you are not eligible for any one question so don't keep skip those question just write down related things or related stuff of that particular question right so this all things or this all strategies you need to follow while writing your answers in exam okay next so this is all about your preparation strategy all the best thank you keep learning